Now dozens of Bronx sites and the Baruga Independence Front marching for Puerto Rico's independence, saying no to statehood and yes to decolonization. Now the group traveling from Roberto Clemente Plaza all the way to Harlem and News 12's Faith Graham has more on their efforts to fight for Puerto Rico's freedom. So Puerto Rico's my statehood. Puerto Ricans taking to the streets of the South Bronx Sunday afternoon, saying no to statehood and yes to decolonization. We want to raise consciousness. What we're doing here, showing the people that we are about, showing that it's no to statehood, yes to decolonization. This as they say their country is currently subject to a colonial regime, preventing them from making their own fundamental decisions. The solution in their eyes, decolonization. We could determine our own economy. We could have our tariffs to protect our, our agriculture, which we can't do now. We have to unite and defend our right to self-determination. Those organizing this demonstration say they want Americans and Puerto Ricans alike to understand that they believe statehood will strip them of their nationality and their culture. Uh, right now, Puerto Rico is becoming gentrified. Little by little, more and more everyday new investors are coming into the island and they're turning Puerto Rico into something else. Activists say it's their goal to educate their fellow Puerto Ricans and Americans. They don't understand that decolonization could also possibly promote status of statehood, but, but promoting statehood only as the only option is incorrect. Activists and Bronxites celebrating their culture and spreading their message. Boots on the ground, flags in the air, and chanting together as they made their way to Harlem where a similar demonstration was held. In Mott Haven, Faith Graham, News 12.